Hi, Mr. C, it's Tom McNamara, Mayor of the City of Rockford, and I just wanted to wish you a wonderful celebration in the month of September. This is a big month for you as you're celebrating 40, 50, and 60 years, 40 years of matrimony uh, to your wonderful, amazing partner. We have that in, com in common. We both married up. 50 years in the musical ministry and 60 years of life. Just want to again say thank you for the work that you do uh, touching so many people throughout our community. Hope you enjoy the September celebration. Hi everyone, I'm Gary Carwan. I'm the Winnebago County Sheriff. I'm very honored to be here to um, talk about the Yes Club um, and the great work that Carl and his wife Diana Cole has done throughout the years mentoring uh, youth uh, through a music ministry. Um, it's great what they've done for the youth uh, in our Winnebago County Rockford region. Um, they've uh, worked with the youth and made sure through a, a youth ministry of music um, they give them a firm ground to, to move on through their lives. And I'm very honored to be here and talk about the Yes Club. I've known Carl for at least almost 10 years now and he's done a tremendous lot job. Also, I want to wish him a uh, 60th uh, happy birthday, and uh, Diane and, uh, and Carl, a, a 40th uh, happy anniversary. Um, great milestone. I'm very happy for them. And I'm happy for the Yes Club. Um, again, I wish them the best in the future, and I'm very honored to uh, be able to endorse the Yes Club. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ethan Wynn, and Mr. C has really changed my life in the past two years I've known him. Um, I first met him when I was in Upward Bound, and back then I was a really shy and conservative kind of low, um, kind of guy. And seeing Mr. C really be friendly and very open to um, to the public really inspired me. And um, as I joined into the Yes Club, I was ecstatic that I get to sing and and be a good part of a community and I in the past two years I've all I've loved being the Yes Club and now I'm the president of the Yes Club and that's a really I feel really proud of um, this accomplishment and I feel like this um, this whole journey I've been through my um, my entire high school career is on the backbone of the Yes Club, and I want to say thank you to Mr. C for really being open up, or being open and kind as always. And uh, I real, I I, lo I love Mr. C. He's a he's an amazing guy. Hi, uh, my name is Aaron Wynn, and I haven't known Mr. C for very long. But as soon as I met him, I knew that he had a big heart and he definitely wears it all over his sleeves just uh, you can feel the love coming from him all the time so I'm so happy to have met him and to have introduced him to my brother and encouraged my brother to like join this club that he gets to sing in and meet all the different types of people and just kind of be more involved in the community so Mr. C has been great in our lives and I'm happy to have him. Tell you why the Yes Club is the best club. Mr. C and Mrs. C, along with the Yes Club, encourages us to get good grades and to do good. The Yes Club welcomes everybody and we're like a family. We encourage to not to do drugs, violence, crime, or to be stressed. As kids, we should focus on our life and what we like to do. I like the Yes Club because we learn new things about violence, crime, and stress. We have we sing and we have fun, and I really like the Yes Club. Congratulations, Mr. C and Mrs. C. You have been a huge blessing in the Schmid's life. Um, from helping out me when I was at Rockford Lutheran and all the encouragement that you gave the kids, and I know that you continue to do in your ministry today, I have felt blessed to have you as a friend. And I wish you God's blessings as you continue your ministry and your life with Mrs. C and in your music making because um, you are a blessing. I want to thank you for my years in Yes Club and it, how it made me a better musician. And even though the years weren't 
many, it was still a very big help for making me who I am today. We love you, Mr. C. God's blessings. Hi, I'm Anthony. Hi, I'm Soraya. And we met Mrs. C at St. Paul Lutheran in fourth grade through the Yes Club. And we really enjoyed our time with him there. Um, we had a few performances that we really enjoyed. And he was just an overall great music teacher to us. Yeah, and uh, he not only uh, did he uh, introduce us to a new way of looking at music, uh, he, um, he taught us it as well, how to uh, you know, adding some culture into some it. Some soul into some it. soul into it. <laughs> but he brought a lot of culture to St. Paul Lutheran and Loki needed it. So, yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. C and Diana. This is uh, Bill Mercurio, my wife Nancy, our daughter Amanda, our daughter Alina, our grandson Killian, and our other grandson Riddick. And you can tell how the Lord has blessed our family since the time we started coming by you and you were kind enough to give, up, give Amanda an opportunity to increase her love for Jesus and her opportunity to perform in front of people. I remember when we started, uh, we met at Highlander and you uh, explained your mission to us. And when Amanda first went to Calvary Chapel, you were kind enough to let her just go ahead and sing. That was a blessing that we didn't expect, and we appreciate. And I'm going to have uh, Amanda go ahead and Me? talk. Or oh, Amanda, or Nancy. Yeah, I'm going to talk. Okay, so, yeah, I remember, too, running into both of you at Highlander. Um, and talking about the fact that we had a daughter who loved to sing and loved to perform. Um, she's our really shy one in the group. <laughs> anyway, um, it was um, just a blessing to run into you and find out that you had this great ministry going on, you and Diana, and uh, that there was opportunity for um, Amanda to get involved, and Andrew too, Andrew, your son. Uh, the three of you are just, I mean, and I think back, I think about the musical gifts that God has given the three of you, just amazing music musicians, and Diana, with just a beautiful voice, mm -hmm. and it's just been a great, it was just a great opportunity to, um, and I think it was not a coincidence, it was the Lord that put us together at the time, and um, I remember, remembering back, I remember going all over the city <laughs> to, um, go to different venues for the different um, recitals or rehearsals and performances that the kids had. Um, and it just said to me, oh, Mr. C has a lot of connections. He's got a lot of people that he knows in this city and a lot of people that respect him and love him. Um, and, um, and Diana, I just remember sitting with you at I remember the times particularly on the south side, um, it was at a park, and I don't remember the name of the park. It was something like Landings or something like that. Anyway, and we just had some time to talk, and I just, Diana, I think you are just one of the most lovely, gracious women I've ever met. You just have so much love in your heart and really shows through. So um, thank you so much for being a part of our lives. And the fact that it, your ministry is, is built upon the rock that we all believe and love is what was probably the most um, influential reason for us to get involved. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I look back now, it's probably been, <laughs> I'm not actually going to say how many years it's been since <laughs> I've been in the group. It's been a long time. Um, but so many years of ministry um, that Mr. C, you have done and, and Mrs. C um, together, you guys are uh, quite the power couple. And um, I do remember one of my, I mean, I remember many, you know, uh, singing engagements and hanging out with the group and 
just lots of fun that we had. But I also remember the teachable moments that Mr. C really um, um, uh, kind of imprinted on me just to even even as far as my voice goes I remember him talking about my voice being like a, a rubber band that I had to stretch um, to grow and be able to um, reach new heights and I remember being kind of timid and um, nervous about uh, going the extra or taking the next step in my singing um, abilities and you always encouraged me in that and I think one of your one of your biggest strengths that the Lord has given both of you is encouragement. You guys are wonderful encouragers. And I think that's, I think that's what's made you especially so successful um, with the, um, the Young Eagle Soaring Club, because it is what, uh, when we're young children, we need to hear, we need to have a good encouragement and be led along um, by our, um, by those that are uh, caring for us, by our authorities and, and um, parents and, and teachers and uh, and singing leaders. Um, so I just, I was really grateful for that. I think there was a lot of encouragement that I had. And I also love being part of such a, a diverse group. Um, I felt like we were family. Um, we all came together just on the front of singing together, but, um, but just that was like a, a great connection that we were able to have. And I just remember it being a safe, um, fun, enjoyable um, place where I could grow as a kid, and um, and I loved that we sang about the Lord. I loved that we that you reminded me we had conversations about Christ, and um, that was a great encouragement to me in my faith at that time too. And so, uh, so many things I can think back on. I remember the first time that I met Mr. C. I just thought, man, he's so he's got such a magnetic personality. You just you just made me feel so comfortable right away. Um, and made me feel like I was already part of the group. And, um, and I think you're the only person that calls me a superstar, <laughs> but I love it. It's always made me feel very special. And um, yeah, just so much love for you guys. I'm th so thankful for all the years of your ministry, um, music ministry. Sorry, daddy's home. <laughs> um, so thankful um, for you, Mr. C and for you, Mrs. C. And Andrew, um, miss you too. Haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. And the rest of the group, um, just lots of love for you guys in that time that I was there. And uh, yeah, we pray great blessings over you in the coming years. Happy birthday and uh, happy anniversary too. Uh, Nalia is in California, so she <laughs> couldn't be here with us for the video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I was telling my family a little bit before this, I was pretty young when Mandy was involved in Yes, I See. And so I don't have a ton of like experiential memories, I guess, but I remember um, just so much how Mr. C and um, Diana made me feel. And it was just very, like Amanda was saying, just so, um, the personality is so magnetic and you feel very comfortable and you're just so, you both are so kind and gentle and, um, just, I never, and every time I interacted with you guys, I just left feeling so good and like positive and yeah, you guys are just so, such wonderful people and it's so easy to love you guys. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for being who you are and because um, who you are is just wonderful, great people. And so thanks for allowing us into your lives and um, being as welcoming and kind and open with our family as you have been. So thank you and happy anniversary, happy birthday, all of the things. <laughs> happy birthday, happy anniversary. Um, I actually had two other like things I was thinking about that I wanted to mention. First was when John and I, my husband and I were first married, I remember um, I hadn't seen Mr. C in a long time. And we, he took, my husband took me to Francesco's for dinner and uh, Mr. C serenaded us all night on the piano. So, <laughs> um, that was a sweet memory and a sweet way to catch up with you. And then also 
I remember, <laughs> I remember the um, cheeseburger coupons you would give us to McDonald's. Oh, right. I coveted right. those yeah. and I, I worked hard to get extra <laughs> ones. So <laughs> I still love McDonald's cheeseburgers. I don't think I'll ever get over that. So yeah. anyway, well, we love you guys and yeah, yeah. You happy birthday, happy and anniversary. We love, you. We love you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Great much blessings for over all you. you do. Congratulations. Yeah. Yep. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. 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 Well, hey, my name is Luke Guevara. For those of you who don't know me, you can call me Little Doctor, a nickname I got from Mr. C. I've known Mr. C for 20 years. I was 12 when we met, and uh, you know, some people would call it a series of serendipitous events that uh, led us into doing ministry together, but I would call it a series of divine alignments. Um, God put Mr. C in my life, and he's done an amazing, amazing job. Uh, I'm just one of hundreds and hundreds of young men and women that have been taught so much by Carl Cole, and watching him and Diana and Andrew, they invited me into their ministry, they invited me into their homes, uh, they invited me into their family and into their life, and I learned so much musically and professionally. I learned about respect, I learned uh, how to be generous. Oh my gosh, no one is generous like Mr. C. He just give me, he just hand me twenty dollars. He'd take me to McDonald's, and that was uh, it was so many good years and really really good memories. And uh, I just wanted to give you a glimpse because some of the conversations that we used to have all the time, God just kept giving Mr. C a vision of going global. And um, you know, over the last eight years, uh, I've been a part of Life Church, and we give away. Um, a, a kids curriculum that is being used by thousands of churches and organizations all over the globe. Um, I wrote all the music for it and every single one of those songs is influenced uh, both professionally and in content by Carl Cole, by Sounds of Good News Ministries. And uh, you know, every couple of weeks I'll get an email from ministries in the Congo or, uh, or in South America or in Asia I'll get Facebook messages um, from parents of their five-year-old little kids who don't know English from Brazil or other countries just singing these songs about Jesus and about who God is. And so um, me being only one, only one of the hundreds and hundreds of young people who God has used you, Carl Cole, to bless uh, over, uh, over 50 years of ministry, you will not know on this side of heaven the impact that you have had on the kingdom of God, on the lives of these students who many of whom are now adults influencing so many other people. I'll tell you, two young people who are so different today because uh, of an impact that you had on my life are my own kids. My daughter Luna is five years old and she's in school and she loves Jesus. The other night she gave her life to Christ. She said the, the salvation prayer. Um, we didn't ask her to, we didn't tell her to, but she heard the gospel and, and I'll tell you what, seeing my kids step into relationship with Jesus and knowing that there's so many people that God has used to help lead to that moment, Carl Cole, you are one of those people and Sounds of Good News Ministries. God has used you to grow the kingdom of God in people that you have never even met before. Um, it's an amazing, amazing thing to be a part of, and I'm just so blessed. I love you guys so much, and, uh, and congratulations on 60, 50, 40. What an amazing thing. You guys are absolutely incredible human beings, and uh, I'm blessed to know you, uh, blessed to tell people that uh, I got to be a part of Sounds of Good News ministry, and uh, so blessed by... Uh, the Yes Club and everything you guys are continuing to do. Grateful for you. I love you guys so much. God bless. Hi there, this is Chris Kellogg um, from Rockford, Illinois. I'm out here explaining um, the amazing difference that Yes Club has meant in my life um, and the difference that it's made in many others. It all started um, this past winter in, when I was a high school senior at Rockford Lutheran High School. During our weekly chapel, uh, Mr. Carl Cole, you know him, you love him, uh, performed at our chapel 
he did a gospel arrangement with piano and songs um, and it was really it was just a wonderful arrangement and I really was impressed um, and uh, not knowing him at all I just went uh, to go up after and introduce myself um, and that was my first uh, run in with him I knew he was uh, an amazing guy and we had a, a short conversation after um, on just you know how he did and what he did as well he came to another chapel and um, he sought me out and he asked what I wanted to do um, and you'll learn that um, that's a big part of Mr. C's life is he really cares about um, everyone individually you know he goes and caters to people individually he'll make you feel like the most important person um, in the room and the most important person he's talked to which is kind of amazing so he was asking me um, you know what I wanted to do in the life and I told me um, I, I told him about my um, interest in videography um, in which he immediately uh, got me in to Yes Club and told me he wanted me to direct videos um, do some shots for them and uh, just help out with Yes Club in the terms of uh, videos and just general leadership and right away I was honored just to be approached by that um, but I still didn't know what Yes Club was about um, when it was time for the first meeting I joined I uh, went with my friend Andrew who's the drummer Drew too you know and I immediately loved it. I walked in, I met everyone. Each person was so happy that everyone else was there. And it was truly amazing to see. In my months there, I got to direct a bunch of music videos. And I had to just help out and watch Mr. C um, work his magic with the community. I think it's amazing what he's done with the community. I think it's amazing what he's done with people. And I, I can't imagine um, having gaining experience um, under a different person. The life of Mr. C has touched my life and so many others. Uh, he's made me believe in my goal to become an independent filmmaker. It's led me out to California. And he's inspired many others as well. Each day uh, with the Yes Club, he comes into contact with so many kids, so many kids that he inspires, that he touches the lives of, um, and he just makes people believe in themselves, which is amazing. I love his virtues and his messages that are ever so important um, in the community of Rockford to help kids stay um, in school, drug free, alcohol free, stress free, and headed towards the path of success. Mr. C, thank you for reaching out. I wouldn't be involved in the way I would be um, if you haven't reached out that one day. It's been an honor to be a part of Yes Club um, because the Yes Club, as you can see, it's, it's nationwide. It's, it's a movement that touches everyone. Um, and I'm very proud to be a part of it uh, for these last couple months and I plan to uh, further make uh, the S Club proud um, and I know each individual member is also going to do that as well. So a quick happy birthday to Mr. C, um, happy celebration 40, 50, 60, that's a big, big um, event going on um, and yes, thank you. Psalms 37 and 23 declares, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Mr. C, Elder Cole, Superintendent Cole, Dad Cole, I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish you a very, very happy 60th birthday and to let you know that I believe above everything else that you have done for me and the impact on my life that the Lord is delighted in your way. I believe that you have walked in a path of integrity. You have walked in a path of purpose. You have been true to your assignment. You knew what the assignment was on your life, and you have walked the assignment. Therefore, people such as myself, who you call Dr. Dorsey, and just out of the blues say, Dr. Dorsey, I'm proud of you. And Dr. Dorsey, here's some chords or all along the way that you have given me. And here's, you know, a different way you can play this. And all of that impact that you've had on my life has not only been me that's been impacted, but there are countless others that have been packed, impacted by your life just by you saying yes to the Lord 
just by you saying yes to the assignment, just by you knowing the assignment and walking in your purpose, walking in your gift and walking in integrity and living a life, as my mother would say, or my grandmother would say before us, that is pleasing to the Lord, that it is an example for us to align ourselves with. And I appreciate you to the highest extent. I respect you to the highest extent, and I love you. And I wish nothing but the best for you. And I want you to live as long as you want and want for nothing as long as you live. And I want to say again, I love you. Happy 60th birthday. Thank you for saying yes to the Lord. And thank you for saying yes to your assignment. Well, hello there. My name is Ryan Swanson. I'm a professional musician and saxophonist. And I wanted to talk about my exceptionally talented, dear friend and mentor, Mr. Carl Cole, and his Sounds of Good News organization. Um, I've worked with them since I was in my early 20s and known them for, known Carl for over 20 years. And it's been an absolute pleasure and inspiration seeing him inspire uh, children and musicians of all ages to be the best they can be. And that's who Carl is. He's an inspiration, immensely talented, super creative, and uh, a positive force in the lives of everyone he touches. So I just want to say, Carl, we love you. Thanks for all you've done, continue to do, and will do in the future. God bless you. Hello, Mr. C. Happy birthday. Um, and just thank you for all that you have given us um, over the years. And I know you have a lot more to give. Um, I really just appreciate your um, your willingness to invest in the community. You know, um, a lot of times like people don't really take the time to, to do that. And you have. Um, and it shows all around the city and here in Freeport and in Rockford and other places as well. Um, and the time that you've invested into musicians, you know, such as myself and, and others. Um, I can remember as a kid coming to Holy Temple and I always wanted to get there in the beginning because I wanted to hear like before, you know, before you started. I hated being late, but obviously I was a kid, so I had no control over that. But I enjoyed listening to you and Drew um, you know, play as one unit. And I mean, you played all the parts um, and it worked to serve as a, you know, as a, as a full sound. And that's something that's not easy to do. Um, but I would say that you have been a full sound for, again, the community. So not just your, your, your playing, but your service has been a full sound to the community. And so uh, love you. Thank you. And um, I look forward to seeing the next set of birthdays. So God bless you. Hi, my name is Benjamin Denon. Um, man, it is such an honor to be asked to, to make a video to celebrate uh, Mr. C's 40, 50, 60. Uh, man, just incredible to me, uh, the impact he's had. Um, just a little background on me, I'm a professional musician. Um, you know, I, I had a career touring out of Nashville. I, I'm a film composer. And I say all that not to make me sound impressive, but I say that because uh, I would be none of those things if it were not for Mr. C. Um, I'll never forget, you know, uh, him teaching me how to play with soul, teaching me how to play jazz, teaching me how to be a professional, how to be a young man. Um, he taught me everything that I, I am as a musician and, and a lot of who I am as a young man. Well, I'm not a young man anymore. <laughs> who I am as a man. Um, you know, whether it was teaching me the changes for playing Georgia on my mind to uh, touring the country with him, getting to play on my first recordings with him. Uh, he really sparked a passion in me and took a chance on this skinny 16-year-old kid who could barely play a lick on his guitar. Um, and I, like I said, I am who I am because of Carl Cole. Um, and so, Carl, I'm so incredibly proud of you. I'm so proud to have been a part of those 50 years of music ministry. Uh, keep plugging away. You've got great things ahead of you. Um, if I can grow up and be, you know, a tenth of the man that you are, 
at my 40, 50, 60, um, holy cow, that would be a, an, an honor uh, and, and, and an achievement. So again, thank you so much, Carl, for everything that you brought to me and my family and, and all you've done for Rockford and, and really the world in general. It's an honor knowing you. Hi, my name is Felton Offord. I am a guitarist and um, composer living and working in the Chicago area. <sighs> Boy, it, it is an honor to um, talk to you about my experiences with Carl Cole and the influences that he's had on me with his crazy self. <laughs> Boy, I, I have known Carl literally all my life. You see, our mothers, uh, my mother, Mrs. Mamie Offord, and his mother, um, Mrs. Irma Cole, were best friends since they were since childhood. Both beautiful, lovely ladies, and I miss them dearly. But um, <clears throat> some of my earliest musical training came with Carl on the organ, and um, myself, I was playing drums. We were at Faith Temple. Church of God in Christ, right around the corner, uh, between Madison Street and Winnishick Street in Freeport, where I spent many days scuffing my knees and being into stuff that I shouldn't have. Carl taught me one of the key things that has defined my playing, and it's dynamics. The, the contrast between how loud something is and how, how soft it is. Um, he taught me to, to hear things. And what's funny is, Carl, Carl would say sometimes, you're too loud, when I was on the drums. <laughs> That's the way I'm teaching, you're, you're too loud. And I was. I thought I just had to beat something out. I remember, um, I remember my first time playing uh, guitar at the church. And um, I had written a little song. <laughs> I had written a little song for my mother for Mother's Day. It was absolutely horrible, horrible. And I played the song and people in church went, hmm, who that was lovely. And Carl was like, all right, man, get back on the drums. <laughs> He knew I needed work on the guitar, and he gave me some pointers in terms of chords. And again, the dynamic thing was in contrast, and keeping the music forward was real um, important to Carl. Carl doesn't know it, but he's still blessing me because Andrew um, and I have been on a couple of the same um, record productions. So he and Diana are still blessing me. Now, Carl is much older than I am. I think he's three years <laughs> older than me but he doesn't know this but he inspired me to go to college too i think carl was a math major i can't add two plus two but he was always just super super smart and a really genuine guy and a guy who's really really sold out to the lord and hey man i just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart that i appreciate you and I love you for what you poured into me. And I'm sorry for this really long message, but I love you, brother. Diana and Drew, I love you guys. God bless. And the whole Cole family. Hi, it's Matt Eulery, phoning in from Chicago. I had the privilege and honor to play with Mr. C in the late 90s, early 2000s, while I was in high school and part of college. And while I was at Guilford High School, the great band director Rick Durango introduced me to Carl Cole who was looking for a bass player to play with him and his, all of his groups, his family. Hey Andrew, hey Diana, miss you. Um, always such a blast playing with the Cole family. Mr. C was a mentor to me, particularly in expanding my my musical world into gospel musics, different blues forms, R&B, and things in that world that I hadn't grown up in necessarily, um, but I certainly was at this point. That's where I grew up. And in fact, no joke, this book is sitting on my piano. 
which I kept all of Mr. C's handwritten chord charts for me. Tunes such as Count On Me. Let's see. So many good ones. His Eye is on the Sparrow. It's Gonna Work Out. Lift Every Voice and Sing. So, so when, I, when I learned this music, I didn't know really anything about this. And, um, and now I'm playing the African American National Anthem on a regular basis. And this, this, uh, this really elevated me. My musical career, my life, my relationships with people, and my just ability to, to know what love is in music. And I kept these because I regularly look at them to be inspired by Carl Cole's sense of harmony and how he would communicate it to a young, eager musician like me, who, well, at the same time he taught, you know, learning music orally was the ultimate thing. He also knew I could read, so he could throw something at me and um, I would be up for the challenge and be trying to use my ears as much as possible. And that was another thing that I really learned. Um, watching Mr. C work with young singers, singing them all the harmonies to the songs, really being a great mentor to so many young people. And I'm just grateful he's still making music. And uh, Carl, I miss you. Miss you, Andrew, Diana. I hope you're having a beautiful life right now. Life is crazy. I know we all know that. But uh, happy 60th, Mr. Cole, and keep doing it. Thank you so much. I must say, what a blessing it's been to know Mr. C for so many years. Um, I grew up with Mr. C, um, and he mentored me and helped me to get to the spot that I am currently, and I'm eternally grateful. Happy birthday, Mr. C. Hello, I'm Diego Sanchez Galvin, and uh, here's my story about Mr. C. So. I met Mr. C in like t late 2018, yeah. So late 2018, I met Mr. C and we were talking, you know, through Facebook, he reached out to me and texting back and forth. And just due to circumstances in my schedule, I couldn't really meet with him and, you know, meet with him in person and talk about things. Um, but luckily uh, during like Mary Poppins, which uh, was a show happening at Auburn at the time, um, he came to watch it and I, I didn't know until like mid show because he messaged me on Facebook and you know I wasn't checking my phone until intermission because that's when I had time to be like okay I'm gonna check who's who messaged me if my mom's here you know I saw a message from Mr. C saying like hey you know I'm in the audience and I was like oh okay you know I, I was excited because you know I haven't ever met him at the time so I was just like I don't know how I'm going to see him though because you know there's a lot of people and I just didn't know like how I'm gonna run into him where can I see him and all that so you know I was stressed during the show, <laughs> you know, a lot going on, you know, a lot of, you know, dancing and singing, so that was difficult, but, you know, so when I get out of my costume and everything and I get into my normal clothes, um, I go out and as soon as I walk out, like, <laughs> literally no joke, I see Mr. C, and I was like, oh, I was like, that, thank you, <laughs> like, thank God this happened, you know, because, like, you know, he was there, and, it, you know, I'd have to, like, run back there and find him through, like, a lot of people and stuff, so, you know, it like lined up and you know we talked and he was very polite and very nice to me so after we met during mary poppins we were messaging back and forth now in early january of 2019 uh there was this thing happening at auburn we got the opportunity as a few students to audition for uh project next gen which was ran through the broadway collective um this the whole idea of the project was to give full ride scholarships to um, minorities, people of color, people a part of the LGBTQ community um, to attend master classes in New York uh, um, through Gathered NYC, which was uh, the Broadway Collective's big summer intensive. Um, so it was exciting. So um, I, you know, obviously like I got to audition and I, I had to audition with a song and a dance. And I was like, oh, <laughs> singing's not really my thing you know at that point I trained about a year and a half in singing um I didn't have much control over my voice you know I didn't have much control with my voice in general so I was I was a little nervous um and you know I was confident in the acting department even then I was a little scared and dancing I was like I mean I can do it you know but singing I was like 
I don't know if I can, you know? So, uh, you know, me and Mr. C started talking about it. And he was like, hey, you know, we, we were just talking back and forth. And, you know, it lined up and he ended up doing vocal lessons for me. Now, these vocal lessons were great. You know, he helped me with a lot. He'd sat, he sat down with me and started teaching me a lot about the voice, a lot about vocal warm-ups and, you know, some of the things I knew, but he, like, elaborated on them more and, you know, started going deeper into it and analyzing everything in my voice and, you know, telling me, like, hey, this is what you need to do. Gave me wonderful analogies, like, about, like, how to, like, with some songs there was tricky steps and he's like, oh, just think about it this way, you know? And it was like, I'm, you know, I'm a person that's a very visual person, you know? That's the way I learned. So when he would say stuff like that, I'm like, oh, that works, you know? And he found a way to teach me, you know, because he, he knew I was, uh, you know, I had a little different way of learning, you know? He, he, clicked, he clicked with that and noticed that and it was wonderful right off the bat. So I remember our first lesson was like, like I think an hour and a half or two hours and um, he was just teaching me a lot, you know, rather than just like running through the song, he was like, no, we're going to spend the first you know, 30 to an hour, you know, doing stuff, me figuring out things, and then from there, we're going to work on your song, and, uh, you know, it was, he told, he taught me a lot of methods, he's like, you know what, the first thing we're going to do is look at the song, and he just sent me, he had me, he handed me the paper, and I brought the sheet music, and I was like, oh, uh, this is just the lyrics, and he told me, he was like, yeah, I want you to focus on the lyrics right now, I want you to focus on the story, and, you know, use it as a monologue at first, and then, from there, I want you to focus on the words and the meaning. He's like, the notes obviously mean a lot, but like right now, let's focus on that. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was getting nervous because, you know, I, I necessarily can't read sheet music, but like I can follow it somewhat. So, and, you know, I was just given like, you know, like dialogue to work with. It was like, oh, but then after a while, I was like, you know what? This is making me less nervous to like, instead of like looking at sheet music, be like, oh, you know, I need to keep up. You know, it was just kind of nice to just follow along and just, you know, be in the moment. And it was wonderful. And um, after that, we had a few more lessons and then um, I had to submit the song portion. Uh, I sang Proud of Your Boy and Mr. C even made a, a voice recording of it for me to follow just in case I got lost or in case I needed to, you know, find where I was at and just keep practicing. You know, he did everything and gave me so much tools to work with and it was wonderful. So once the day came to submit the song portion, um, I got very nervous, but, um, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm already here. I got this wonderful opportunity to audition. Just let's do it. You know, Mr. C helped me a lot, you know, um, let's see what I can do. <clears throat> so, you know, then I ended up getting an email about like, I can't remember if it was a few weeks later, it was a very long time. It felt like an eternity. And um, we ended up hearing about our results and I got an email saying I was going to get a call with, um, the head of the Broadway Collective, Robert, Robert Hartwell, um, excuse me, and um, I was scared <laughs> because at this point I I was like, how? <laughs> I was like, I don't I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. I'm terrified. <laughs> so, oh, I tell Mr. C and he's excited. He's like, you know, just be confident, be you. And I was like, I'm not a very confident person as it is. I struggle with confidence a lot. Um, <clears throat> sorry excuse me um so you know i go to the interview and um through zoom and everything uh in 2019 and, and i i i got it you know i was like i got the scholarship how did that even happen and i told mr c and he's like you know i knew you were gonna get it and he was very i am passionate i could tell he was honestly believed in me in 110 percent of the time he did not doubt a single thing i could do he did not doubt it and he wouldn't sugarcoat things. He would tell me, you know, what I needed to work on, what I needed to focus on. And if I got it, he's like, you earned it. You 100% earned that position. You earned what you got. That's just how you are. You work hard. And um, me as a person, I don't really, <clears throat> you know, I, I beat myself up. You know, I'm very harsh on myself. And Mr. C made me realize, like, I need to be less harsh on myself, honestly. After all that, you know, got the scholarship and everything, you know, I told Mr. C about it and uh, I was excited and, um, you know, I was like, how? And, um, you know, with his help, I got there and I met wonderful people and Mr. C guided me through all that. And, you know, he took me under his wing and took a chance on me and was like, hey, you're gonna do great in life. You just gotta believe in yourself. And obviously, like I said before, I struggle with confidence. It's a very big thing I struggle with, but Mr. C told me, you know, like, hey, you got it got to be more confident in yourself. And I was like, thank you, you know? And um, yeah, without him, I wouldn't, honestly, I don't know if I would have gotten that scholarship, you know? Um, 
because his help assisted me so much, you know? And um, I wouldn't have taken those chances. I wouldn't have, you know, tried my best, you know? And um, a lot of the things he taught me, I still apply to myself to this day, you know? You know, as an actor now, I, I don't really pursue musical theater anymore, but I, you know, obviously acting is what I'm studying now. Um, you know, it's it's amazing because the things he's taught me still apply to acting, you know, being confident and being aware of who you are and, you know, willing to, you know, like fail in the process and keep going rather than like, oh, every step has to be perfect. He's like, look, you know, you got to experiment. You got to have fun. You can't just be a perfectionist the entire time because like you just got to be free, you know, and it it was wonderful, you know, and um, it was it was a great time, you know, working with him and uh experiencing all that and experiencing all that wonderful knowledge you know so yeah and now we're at present day um i'm now studying acting and um without mr c my journey would have been a hundred percent different honestly i don't know where i would have ended up you know it, it, and um and a lot of the lessons he's taught me still have stuck with me you know and he's meant a lot to many people and especially me he's made a big impact on my life and uh you know, his messages and who he is is great, you know, like, I really appreciate him, and, um, you know, like, I haven't seen him in a while because of, you know, COVID and everything, but I know, I hope he's doing wonderful, you know, like, he's a wonderful human and just such a kind soul, and <laughs> I'm very glad that I got to work with him and, uh, you know, got, got taken under his wing, and, you know, he's always here for me, too, which is a beautiful thing, you know, and, um, there's he's a one of a kind there's nobody like him you know he's very genuine very real with many things and he cares about his students and you know cares about everyone and it's a great thing you know so yeah i i'm glad i'm glad i got to work with mr c yeah um so that's my story about mr c um he means a lot to everybody and he, you know special place in my heart right here heart <laughs> Um, so I love you, Mr. C, and much love to everybody. Well, on another note, I wanted to also share a musical perspective. Um, I have had the pleasure and delight over the many, many, many years of working with my father in the studio on all of our music productions, recordings. Um, I am a studio engineer for Sounds of Good News. And uh, we have also done video editing together as well. And um, it's just been a, a great pleasure. And, um, you know, I'm just grateful for being able to be a sponge and just soak up his wisdom and He's taught me a lot of tricks in the studio. Tricks of me trade, tricks of me trade. Um, <laughs> but I, um, you know, Dad, I just want to say thank you for, as always, um, living by example, showing me how to play my instruments under the anointing and with skill, with heart, with feeling. Um, and to, you know, just be sincere in what I do. Um, I just thank you for that inspiration. And um, you are still doing it, even to this day. And so, um, just want to say I greatly appreciate that. And, um, you know, we're just going to, we're about excellence. So, we're going to continue to... Um, exude that in what we do so happy birthday again and love you dad peace i wanted to give a tribute to mr c uh as he said earlier we did we met at francesco's i was eating dinner with my wife and i said oh when did our tatum walk in the door you know <laughs> and i was like amazed this guy is so good so we talked and I was giving him little comments beforehand or during the during his performance and we clicked right away. And I had Carl over to my house. We we played for hours and uh, 
My goodness, but you know, I told somebody, uh, well, I'm, I'm playing with Carl Cole. This is one of our early gigs together. And they said, oh, that's cool, what do you play? And I said, piano. And they're like, what are you doing playing piano with Carl Cole? <laughs> Carl Cole plays a whole lot of piano. And uh, I just said, I'm the auxiliary. When, uh, <laughs> when he needs a break, he hits a button, and I just kind of pop up. But Mr. C, <laughs> man, I love you. And, and I love your wife, and I love your family. We love you too, Dave. And, uh, it's great to have this is a big year for everybody, right? Yeah. So, yes, sir. Uh, I'm just going to try to play a little something to honor you. That's all. I'm sure you'll try. It's your boy from Rockford, Illinois, Harlan Jefferson. Just want to say what's up to Carl Cole and happy big 60th birthday. You're the best to do it, bro. Love you, man. I'm glad you're still alive. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving, keep moving, and make it happen. God bless you. Mr. C, Mrs. C, happy anniversary. Happy birthday. Keep up the good work. Sounds of good news. Anytime I would go and I would hear this great man of God on an organ or a piano, I would sit in awe to watch and see and if his finger won't even move in or to hear how you could be and see how you could be moved even by him just brushing the key. A gift that that God made just for him. I call him the maestro. He calls me his movie star. And I am honored to be able to simply say happy birthday, Mr. Carl Cole. I know that God will continue to bless you with many more. I know that you will continue to bless us with more music and more musical renditions that God gave to you. God bless you, and I love you. I just want to say uh, I've known Carl for probably 20 years, and uh, I wasn't playing out much. Uh, I'd kind of uh, taken a rest from gigging, and uh, Carl got me back into playing publicly, and I really appreciate that. Uh, just uh, love the man to death. Um, he's a great musician. He's a great, uh, a great idol for the community, and I just uh, wish him 60 more years, uh, and uh, just uh, God bless, and happy birthday, Carl. Brother Carl Andrew Cole, how you doing? Kevin Smith coming at you, along with my good friend and buddy, Mr. Glenn J. Coffey. What's up, Mr. Cole? Blast from the past. <laughs> <laughs> Happy what? What is? What are we celebrating here? Uh, birthday. He hit sixty. Oh man, you still a young guy. <laughs> yeah, right. You still a young man. Happy, right. happy birthday. <laughs> you can see when you get to be 60, 60 plus, you got to try to get it in. So me and Kevin are out here trying to do some miles on some bikes 
and we hoping we get back home. So if you don't hear from us, is we stuck out here somewhere. <laughs> get here, Freddie. Hey, man. Um, as we were saying when we uh, talked the other day, because well, we're part of the Mutual Admiration Society, you were uh, saying how you learned so much from me in our time together at NIU. And um, I think it was a mutual exchange of, uh, of stuff. Um, uh, I think uh, what you may have learned from me were the labels of what you were doing. And I think what I learned from you was the execution. So I appreciate that. Uh, you, what, what I've learned from you, your, uh, your <coughs> teachings have stayed with me and I've used them countless times. And I can't pay you for them. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> but anyway, brother, I just want to say that I appreciate knowing you. Happy birthday to you. And I uh, wish you and your family uh, um, all the best. I know you have a musical family and I know all of you guys are bad. Uh, um, you were uh, definitely one of the most talented are not were are one of the most talented brothers that I know personally and I just want to uh, extend my appreciation to you and uh, you know Glenn and I were out here riding and uh, I mentioned to him that I was gonna gonna hit you up so um, we just thought we'd go ahead and, and drop a line to you all right Kyle again happy birthday good hearing from you man and uh, look keep keep doing what you're doing because I know you're still the man when it comes to those keys <laughs> all right peace out See you, man. Bye. Dr. Cole, we're very grateful to uh, know you and to be able to make some music with you. We've known you and Diana and, and had the pleasure of working with you and Andrew for, for years, going back to the old legal follies. And, and uh, our lives are a lot richer because you're in it. And we're very grateful and feel very blessed as a family to know your family. Uh, I just feel so lucky having grown up knowing Mr. C through his playing with my dad and it's been a privilege and a blessing especially getting to know him more as I've grown up a little bit. So happy birthday Mr. Cole. Happy birthday Professor. God bless. <laughs> uh, it's been an inspiration to this community and definitely an inspiration to me and to the youngsters of this community. We owe him a, a, a great deal, and years ago I wanted to play with him, and it took 30 years to get, get here and, and play with him today, and I thank him for everything he's done for us and for the community. Have a happy birthday. Hi, I'm Jackie Rogers. And I'm Jeanette Towns. And we're the Towns Sisters. I've known Carl Cole for over 40 years. We met in 1979 on the campus of NIU. We had an English 103 class together, and we also collaborated briefly through the NIU Black Choir. Over the years, I've come to respect uh, Carl Cole's professionalism, his musicianship, and his ability to always get it right when it comes to music. Everything had to be perfect with him, and I appreciated that, that level of excellence he had about him. Uh, he's also been a good family friend for many, many years and has always uh, been there if we needed him uh, for special family occasions. So, Carl, I love you. Happy 40 years of matrimony to you and Diana. Happy 50 years in the music ministry and happy birthday to you. When I met Carl Cole, it was in the early 80s and he was going to NIU at the time. Um, over the years, what I observed of him is that he was always there for the Rockford and Freeport community. I'm sure he traveled further than that, but he was always a blessing to those two communities in particular. Whether it was playing in church, whether it was playing at a wedding, at a funeral, a community event, or whatever, Mr. C dedicated himself to each individual function. Uh, Mr. C is also involved and founded the Yes Club for our youth, Sounds of Good News Productions, and I know him to be a faithful and loving husband and father. Mr. C, I congratulate you on everything that you do. We, we love, love you, Mr. Carl. C. <laughs> good morning, Mr. C. I just want to wish you a very happy birthday um, and a big congratulations on 40 years of service um, with the Sounds of Good News and with the Yes Clubs. Um, and just want to help you celebrate the fantastic work that you have done in our community. 
Um, Mr. C, I first heard of you um, over 20 years ago when you and Diana were doing a production of Ain't Misbehavin' at the New American Theater, and I was so impressed with your work. It's a show that I love and adore, um, and I was so excited to meet you. Well, a few years after that, I had that opportunity and invited you to um, be an adjunct professor at Rockford University um, and, uh, and start a gospel choir at the university, um, which you did for several years. Um, and I was always so appreciative of the work that you did with our students in terms of um, helping improve their ear, um, helping them improvise, um, and helping them step out of their shell um, to sing solos. Uh, the work that you did was just great with them. Um, and since then, I've just been so happy to be your friend um, and to, to watch the great work that you've done with uh, Sounds of Good News and with the Yes Clubs. And uh, I just am so thankful for your ministry and for your service in, in Rockford, in our, in our community. And please keep up the good work. Uh, love to Andrew <clears throat> and to Diana. Um, and thanks for including me <clears throat> during your celebrations. Um, and I look forward to 40 more years of awesome work. Hello, and so happy to send these milestone birthday greetings to my longtime friend of over 40 years, Maestro Reverend Dr. Elda Bishop Carl Cole. I am ex so excited for you uh, in this, this monumental birthday. You have been a blessing to the body of Christ, number one, and we want to thank you for that. You have been a blessing to musicians everywhere, including me. Thank you for the nights spent in our dormitory uh, lounge <laughs> at Grant Towers, uh, being able to share chord structures and things over the years. I so appreciate it, and I'm still using those things even today. And so I thank you, and I want to say happy birthday, Carl. You know, this is really something that we've gotten to this point. So I wanted to say happy birthday to you, sir. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments over the years for working with the youth and for being the guy that you are. Happy birthday, Carl. Much love. Cynthia D. Stargell. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at me, I have been set free. All my sins are washed away. My slides turn today, all because Christ has set me free. Y'all remember this one? Look at me, I have been set free. All my sins are washed away. My lights turn today. All because Christ has set me free. Oh man. So uh, when I was a kid growing up, um, I, I could remember uh, Dr. Cole, you uh, would come to our church, and um, it was you and uh, Miss Diane and Miss Bobby, and y'all would come in and y'all would give a mini concert, especially like if our churches were fellowshipping um, together, and y'all would pull out an Andre Crouch or a Tremaine Hawkins uh, or something that y'all were going to do. And I can remember my brother and, them, uh, and I uh, sitting on the edge of our seat just waiting to see what y'all were going to sing uh, or what y'all were going to play. And and a couple of times we had the opportunity to play drums with y'all, but more times than not, it was always our older cousins or somebody that was able to play the drums. This was before Andrew even came along, <laughs> um, uh, playing drums uh, with you all. But I can remember you all singing uh, these songs. Um, and to this day, we get to reflect back on the memory uh, of, of of what you of the foundation that you all 
uh, laid and so many different ones in Rockford um, that have had such an impact uh, on our lives, on my life, on my music ministry, on ministry. And um, so I just wanted to stop uh, and say congratulations. Uh, first off, um, 40 years of matrimony to you and Sister Cole. Uh, also want to say happy 50 years of music ministry. Man, a half a century. You did it, dude. Um, and that is so wonderful. And then happy 60 years of life. Listen, uh, that's a dangerous combination. 40, 50, 60. 40, 50, 60. Uh, you can't tell me what God won't do. Um, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. Uh, just still, you know, remember you coming in. Uh, you would sit on the organ and uh, uh, play that doggone Hammond, Hammond B3, um, be doing those drops like Luke Austin, um, or even um, uh, uh, just, man, sitting on a piano. Uh, and we'd be in rehearsal, whether it was at West Middle School or whether it was at Auburn High School um, with Miss Hill's choir. Uh, and we would just, just be just mesmerized um, at the stuff that you would be doing uh, on keys. And so uh, I used to get to sneak uh, and watch. I, I didn't get a chance to, to do lessons, um, but I would sit as close to the organ as I could, and I had my tape recorder. I had a little gray uh, uh, little tape recorder uh, that I would have, and sometimes I'd get to sit it up on the organ, or I would just sit next next to or sit in the, at, in the pew, wherever I was sitting at, um, just so that I could capture, um, and so it would be, you know, it would be you, and, um, and, and it would be Stan Penix, and different ones, and I would just get a chance to just go back, Jesse Agnew, man, Jesse Agnew, Reverend Dr. Jesse Agnew, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, man, I can remember these days, so, like, um, I was just sitting here, and I was thinking, man, what could I say, uh, and so I just want to say congratulations uh, thank you for the impact uh, that you made you, uh, on my life, on my family's life. I speak on behalf of my family today, my brother, my sisters, my nephews, um, who have all had opportunity to uh, work with and serve with your ministry. Um, we thank you uh, for what you have done. Um, even my sister, Tanitra Michelle Williams, uh, some of you all may know, uh, of, of Destiny's Child, um, who <laughs> we used to do a duet together. Oh my goodness, at West Middle School um, and even in high school, um, Dr. Cole had us doing duets together. Um, so from time to time, when all, when we get together, her and Aaron and I, and, uh, we get to chop it up and, and, and reflect back on the days of doing late night rehearsals and all of that stuff growing up. And who would have thought, you know, that we would be where we are today. Uh, but we're so thankful uh, for you all and just want to say congratulations and keep on going. Um, uh, much love, much respect uh, from the Goldsmith family, Texas, Goldsmith family, Rockford, Illinois. Uh, we want to congratulate you and we salute you uh, all. God bless you. Hello, everyone. I'm Lynn Pennix. And I'm Elder Stan Phoenix. And we just want to come on and say congratulations to our brother, yeah. uh, Mr. Carl Maestro Cole. Right, Amen. Right. We just thank God for him and we thank God for his gift. And he is a gift to the community and to the body of Christ. And we just yeah. thank him. We remember, we, we were recalling when we first met him in mm -hmm. Freeport at a right. service. And I remember saying, when he got on the organ and he began to play, I just remember saying, who is this man that is so talented? Right. Um, and right. to meet him through uh, Mike Pearson and all of my family, the McGee's, everybody in Freeport. Um, and then he would play at some of our family events and you mm -hmm. all played together. Yeah, we um, uh, actually, myself, Carl and Michael Pearson, we all started playing around the same time. Yeah. And so we were all fascinated with Luke Austin mm -hmm. Sr., Luke Austin Sr., yeah. who was the minister of music of our uh, jurisdiction. And Carl probably picked up more of Luke Austin's playing than the rest of us. But 
I, I just always enjoy to hear Carl play because as everybody say, he is a maestro. Absolutely. And we just want to say congratulations to you because you're also a gift to not only the music ministry, but to communities across this world. Um, you've been even instrumental in our children's lives in, in terms of music and, and just what you've done in the community with school children. You and your lovely wife, Lady Diane, we love you both yeah, and we congratulate absolutely. you for 40 years of marriage. Yes. Um, we so, yes, that's a blessing. 40 years, 40 man. years, that's a blessing. And we celebrate you for 50 years in music ministry. That within itself yeah. is a blessing because it takes a special anointing. Yeah. Um, that means we've been playing a long a time, A long Carl. time <laughs> and singing a long time. <laughs> Absolutely. We remember uh, songs that you've sung or you've written for the community. And I believe mm -hmm. our cousin, Tanitra, known as Michelle of Destiny's Child, formerly of Destiny's Child, leading some of his songs um, mm -hmm. here in the, uh, the school district. Mm -hmm. And it's just so many things, Carl, you've touched so many lives. Yes. And the Martin Luther King. And the Martin Luther King, yes. Choir. Yes, yes. And he wrote a lot that. of songs over the years. Yes, That yes. the choir would sing. Absolutely. And that we would play along with him, of course. Absolutely, yes. And certainly, thank God for 60 years of life. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. What a blessing to be Absolutely. in the land of the living yeah. that God will still use you, use your gift and your ministry and your wife together Amen. to minister to the body of Christ. So we just want to right. say congratulations. We appreciate you. You know, there's always that show that I watch sometime. It's called The Unsung. And you have been, you are unsung, unsung. and Absolutely. need to be recognized. So we're honored yeah. to be a part of this celebration. Yeah. And we pray God's richest blessings upon you. Yeah. One thing I would like to say is Carl as my friend. And uh, every time I would see him, he would be so encouraging. You know, he just Always. make me feel like I'm really somebody. Amen. The way yes, he would encourage absolutely. me. And I really appreciate that about him. He's never said nothing negative to right. me. It's always been positive. Yes. And um, so I just I just love you, man, from the bottom of my heart. Thank right. you for being my friend. Right. Appreciate that. And we thank you for always encouraging us. And we pray that we have reciprocated some encouragement yeah, to you. May God bless you is our prayer. Yes. God bless you. Greetings. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I am honored to be able to say a few words about my lifetime friend, Brother Cole. Me and Brother Cole go way back to our childhood days when I could walk through my backyard and be at his house in about a minute's time. I remember back then when we would get out of school we would go down to his church, which was right down the street from where he lived, and we would go in and we would get on that organ and we would play and practice for hours at a time. Just about every day we'd go down there and we'd be playing and exchanging things. So I never forget one time, there was an organist uh, back in the day. He's going on to be with the Lord now. His name was Luke Austin. And this guy was a phenomenal organist. I just loved the way he played. I looked forward to going to Chicago when we would be able to go to our state meetings just so I could hear him play and I would record him. And um, one time I brought one of those cassette tapes back and I gave it to Carl. And um, well, and not too long after that, we're down at the church like we always do practicing and Carl is playing the exact same things that was on that tape. And I was like, whoa, you got to show me that stuff. So we got on there and he was, you know, exchanging chords and he was doing most of the exchanging, <laughs> giving, you know, showing me things. And I tell you, that was a huge part in my um, ministry as far as me playing the organ. I can truly say that if it wasn't for Brother Cole um, and those times that we had, 
I wouldn't have been the musician that I, you know, came to be. And that style of play that we kind of picked up from Luke Austin is kind of the style that I, um, you know, played. That's the way that I, you know, got my, the way I like to play was from that. And, and uh, Brother Cole played a huge role in my music ministry. So, and then from there we, after we grew up and we went to college and I remember we went, I went to NIU and Carl took me in my freshman year and I was, he took me in as his roommate. So I, we roomed together and we still was in the ministry. And then I believe somewhere along that time, I can't remember exactly, but Sounds of Good News started and I was part of that. And we had a group while we were in college called the Celestials and we you know, did some musical things in that, you know, area down in uh, the DeKalb area. And then, you know, some years passed and we didn't get to play with each other like we do, like we did back in that time. But every, every time we get a chance and we do play together, it's like we never miss the beat. You know, we can play and I know where Carl's getting ready to go and he knows where I'm going and we can kind of accent each other you know just like we practice but that's just you know how it is with with when me and carl get brother cole get together excuse me for calling him you know carl but that's was my lifetime friend and that's what i'm used to calling him but no disrespect we know that he is an elder so um so i just want to say well congratulations on your 40 years of matrimony 50 years of music ministry and 60 years of life you made a huge impact on my life, and I hope that I have done the same in yours. And I just, you know, we thank God for the talent that you have and how you take the time and you share your talent with each and every one of us, and it's just been a blessing. So just want to say I appreciate you, appreciate everything that you have done for me and in my ministry and my life, and truly we just thank God for you and many, many blessings and many, many more. Happy birthdays. Thank you. Well, Carl, happy birthday. I picked this song not because I think you're a guy that misbehaves, but because you're a guy that I don't think would ever misbehave. Uh, all the people I've known in music and generally through the years, you're a man of great virtue and integrity. I have a number of virtues that I admire in you that I wish for myself. Now, first of all, you're obviously a role model. Work with the Sounds of Good News students for years, and you know as a fellow teacher, I know that students are very trying, very difficult, to get cooperation, but I can tell they idolize you and they'll do anything you say and fortunately you give them the right role models so they're making the right example choice. And then you know I had the privilege of working with your son Andrew a couple of years ago for a while and uh, everything I saw in him reflected you and Diana, the, the way you've raised him, courteous, respectful, dignified. I really enjoyed him and he's talented. And so you've been a role model, you're also very versatile musically. You know, you're one of those few people I know that can play it all. You do jazz, you do pop, you can do country, rock, soul. I know you're a church musician, and I'll tell you that just recently, I started working in my own church at music. It's really difficult to get people to sing along, and so I respect anybody who's a church musician. Uh, you know, too, that I, I'll tell you a little story that reveals something about my respect for you. You might remember three, four years back that you and Diana and Emily Austin and Andrew were playing a Christmas concert in Emerson. And I was playing the same afternoon with Guy Fiorenza and Tim Austin. And I heard that you were gonna be there, but I thought we were going first. And so I figured that's okay, I'll get it out of the way. And then I got there and discovered that you were going first. And I'll tell you, I stood in the back with Guy Fiorenza just cowering with anxiety, and I said to the guy, you know, I can't go on after Carl. I mean, that guy has just absorbed that keyboard. I've got nothing else to say. And the guy said, uh, one of his favorite phrases, you know, Dave, just remember, it's not Carnegie Hall. And so we went on, but uh, it was very difficult to play in front of you. That's how much respect I have for you. 
And then finally, a word that applies to you, Oscar Peterson used it to describe his bass player, Ray Brown, relentless. Uh, you're somebody that has more energy on the stage than any other musician I know. And every, everybody I work with, any band I've ever worked with, they take breaks, they want breaks. And i never forget the time I had a student at Rock Valley of mine, he asked me to come and hear him with your group at Mendelssohn Club. And uh, remember, you were on the stage with the grand piano and various groups came up and they sang and danced and did what they were doing. Three hour program, you were at the keyboard, three solid hours, your hands never stopped moving, three hours. I couldn't do that. I don't think any musician in this town could do that. You are relentless on the keyboard. And so I admire your virtues, your role model, you're versatile, you're relentless. I wish you many happy years to come. This message is to Brother Carl Cole, an absolute and total musical genius, one of which I've had uh, the opportunity to uh, play with. He is just phenomenal. He is uh, a giant, an absolute and total giant. Um, each and every opportunity I've had to play with him he uh, made me even sound like a better musician. And uh, I appreciate him, I love him, and I thank him so much for being in my life and taking the opportunity to even allow little old me to play with him. I wish you all the best. Uh, as I've often said, may you live as long as you want, and we know that the God you serve will never let you want as long as you live. Uh, again, may God richly bless you and thank you so much for sharing your gift in Jesus' name. Hey, this is Darwin Jackson. I just want to be included in the number to congratulate my brother and my friend and my mentor, the Professor Carl Cole. Congratulations, sir. 40, 50, 60, 40 years of marriage. 50 years of music ministry and 60 years of life. My brother, you're a blessed man. And I'm even more blessed because I know you. I appreciate the example you've been to me of excellence and, um, and showing me how to do and what to do uh, years ago. And I was honored to play with you then. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I don't get called now anymore at all. I know you got Andrew. So, hey, it's all good, man. I love you. And I wish God speed, I wish you the best. And I pray that God gives you all the desires of your heart. Continue to do the work you're doing. You are changing lives. You've been changing lives. Keep on going, brother. I love you. Congratulations. Hi, Mr. C. And it's great to be a part of this project documenting your not quite 60 years on the face of the earth and 50 years um, celebrating your gift of music with our community. So I, I think it's great to, uh, to be a part of this for a lot of reasons. One is um, Carl and I have shared a history of, of making music in the community. Um, of course, I have respected his work with Sound of Good News and um, with the Young Eagle Soaring Club. And of course, his work as a professional musician, but I think what touches my heart the most is his work with kids because that's what I um, actually a lot of people in our community they define me as the director of Contouri way back in the olden days I, I did that for 26 years so I think some of my most um, treasured memories are working with young people and I can't uh, put words in Mr. C's mouth but I have a feeling that uh, when he sees the light bulb go on in in a young child's imagination, and when he can recognize uh, the mentoring that he's done with these young people, um, he sees that, that magic happen, and he knows that he has touched a life. Um, and I think that's, that's remarkable, and, and definitely something that we, we want to note as he's celebrating his 60th year. So as a little nod to Carl's work with young people. I wanted to play a little tune. I actually think this was one that he requested from me. 
Um, it's uh, Billy Holiday's God Bless the Child. One of the first uh, experiences I had working with Mr. Cole was when I had asked him to work with the Contarai Singing Boys of Rockford when we were doing a gospel medley. And I think one of the things about musicians, at least good musicians and respectful musicians, is they should recognize in what area that they might have a deficiency and go to someone who knows the answers. And so I went to Mr. C, and he worked with the boys for quite some time on a gospel medley, working on all the, the idioms and the musical language that really that genre demands. And I was not experienced in that. And then, lo and behold, I think just a few months after that, um, Steve Larson, uh, music director of the Rockford Symphony, um, had reached out to me 
because he was going to be doing a, a medley of African-American spirituals, and he wanted uh, a pianist that could uh, really make those shine. And so I, I said to myself, I have the perfect person. So um, now Mr. C had never worked with a symphony orchestra, I don't think at that point, and so I worked with him to kind of strengthen some things that he would know how to understand that musical language, and I think that was a great success. So um, again, that's one of the reasons that Rockford has a thriving arts community is we do support each other, and so I thank you again, Mr. C, for all you've done for our community. Hi. I'm Steve Larson, music director of the Rockford Symphony, and I'd like to congratulate Carl Cole on achieving 40 years of matrimony, 50 years of music ministry, and 60 years of life. God bless you, Carl, and I hope you have many, many more. This is uh, Pastor Dr. Robert L. Davis. I am here today, uh, feel so honored to honor my brother, uh, the one and only uh, elder, Dr. Carl Cole. Uh, I've known Carl Cole, elder Carl Cole. Uh, oh my God, it has been, it's, it has, has to be like 50 something years. Um, I uh, met him during our uh, group called The Living Waters, which my cousin um, put together. My cousin, the late um, elder Charles Berry, I was about 15 years old, and um, everybody thought I was bad, and, and I thought was, I was a little bad on the organ too as well. But then uh, Carl Cole came to one of our rehearsals, and uh, he just blew it out the water. I mean, he was playing chords like no one has ever heard before, right? His, his compositions, his songs, just an awesome virtuoso musician. And I said to myself, well, let me go back to to uh, music 101 because I don't have it. Um, and then from there, um, I um, started my studies at Northern Illinois University, which Carl um, also lived in that particular area. And many times I would see him in the music room um, at the, the music hall. And uh, I would go in and just, you know, interrupt him while he was writing a song or he was working on some music. Um, but he was so humble, uh, seeing that I was a young man and he saw that I really wanted to learn and be better. And he would stop and let me, he would show me chords and different things. I remember uh, there's a song that I wrote a long time ago called Cinnamon, and, Cinnamon Look. And um, uh, I thought my composition was bad, but when Carl Cole got a hold of it, he had me playing um, uh, two notes on the left side of left on the left hand and three notes on the right hand and he from doing that it caused my song to sound like a total different song so I want to say that I've learned a lot from um, Elder Dr. Carl Cole as uh, far as far as my playing is concerned um, and just watching him with his productions and his compositions and things of that sort. One of my favorite songs that he wrote, he has many, many com great compositions, but one of my favorites is Thank You, Lord. Such an awesome composition. And uh, he's allowed me to be a part of his workshops, SOGN. Um, um, I've become family as well, not just with him, but also his lovely wife, uh, district missionary Diana Cole, and also missionary uh, Bobby Cates as well, and, and just their whole entire family. And just want to say Carl Cole is such an awesome, awesome mu musician. Um, and um, when you hear my music, you will hear uh, some, some of Carl Cole in me because I took some of those things and I applied it to my, my music ability. So I thank God for Elder Carl Cole and uh, want to esteem you and say, keep on doing what you're doing. Don't stop, don't stop playing, don't stop writing songs. Um, I know we're getting, we're getting older, but hey, we're still, we still have a life of head, ahead of us uh, to come. And I'm just looking forward to see what else, what, you, what else next you got to come. So God bless you, uh, Elder uh, Dr. Carl Cole. I love you, love you much. 
uh, we are not friends. We are family. Because um, I've, been, I've been knowing you since, since I was a kid. Thank God for you. And keep on doing what you do. Hi, my name is Steve Grissett from Mac 180 Music. And I'd like to say congratulations to maestro Carl Cole for 40 years, 50 years, and 60 years. 40 years married to beautiful Diana Cole. Shout out to you, Andrew. 50 years in ministry, including Sounds of Good News. Shout out to you, my man, Frank Robinson from Aurora. And 60 years young on this earth. Brother, you have been an inspiration to me and others around the world. God bless you and all that you do. And the best is yet to come. What's up, Mr. C? Big celebration coming on, man. This is your boy, Antoine. Man, uh, 40 years of matrimony, man. 50 years of ministry. 60 years of life. Now that sounds of good news. What's going on, Mr. C? My brother, my pastor, my friend, maestro. Now let me break this down just a little bit. When I think of the name Cole, C is for classy. O, orchestrator. L, E, limitless excellence. Now that sounds of good news. Man, this is an honor. Brother, this is a pleasure. There is no other than Mr. C, the doctor himself. Love you so much, brother. Keep pressing on. Keep pushing on. Much love. Peace. God bless you. This is Bishop Sedgwick Daniels. And I would like to extend to Professor Carl Cole congratulations on your Jubilee celebration 50 years of ministry, 40 years of marriage. We want to commend and congratulate you on your stellar job in the music ministry and the service that you have provided to Christendom. I keenly and distinctly remember when you aided us in our recordings here at Holy Redeemer with our choir at the Performing Arts Center. I remember the years and years and years that you worked with Mother Daniels in the music department for Wisconsin for the Church of God in Christ. Bishop Bonner and so many of the fathers and mothers, matriots and patriots of this great church. And now you're in a stellar position and we celebrate and honor you. Professor, continue to keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for, your, for being a musical maestro and we applaud and appreciate you. May the blessing of the Lord be with you and the great consolator be your guide. This is Bishop Sedgwick Daniels. God bless. Hello, my name is Supervisor Valerie Daniels Carter, and it is my joy to wish uh, Superintendent uh, Cole a happy birthday. I affectionately call him Maestro Carl Cole because he is just a phenomenal musician and man of God. My goodness, it just doesn't seem like the years have gone so quickly past, and we are now those individuals that are mentoring others and grooming others for ministry. Thank you, Superintendent Cole, for everything that you have done for so many people and so many individuals, countless individuals across this country. You have empowered, you have encouraged, and you have motivated so many wonderful people to continue in God's grace. May you have a wonderful birthday and may the blessings of the Lord continue with you for many, many years to come. God bless you and enjoy your time. To Mr. Organ himself, the maestro, Professor Carl Cole, it is my distinct pleasure 
to congratulate you for achieving the trifecta of celebrations. 40 years of marital bliss, 50 years of ministry and music, and 60 years of life. You are laying claim to a status achieved by few in life and God's blessings have put a seal upon your future. I am godly proud of what you have accomplished and your trajectory of success. Lamentation said it best. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Keep walking in God's favor, my friend. God's got you covered with his arms of protection. God bless. Greetings all the way from Chicago to the one and only Elder Carl Cole from yours truly, Dr. Jody Easterling Hood, and on behalf of my husband, Superintendent Rory Hood, we say congratulations to you on your 40, 50, 60 September anniversary. May God continue to bless you. Love you. Brother Carl, Hugh, uh, Brother Hugh and Sister Sarah here. So 50 years of music ministry. That's a lot of music and powerful ministry. And a lot of magic you have nurtured in many healthy young minds for success in life. And they shall mount up with wings like eagles. Carl, your gifts are many and you have used them well to bless so many, especially the young, that enter into your God-inspired sphere of influence. And then there is your 40 years of matrimony. We wish you congratulations and know that all we appreciate about you is multiplied by Diana, your most valued life partner in all of the endeavors the two of you immerse yourselves in. And we wish you happy 60th birthday. We thank God for you and all the ways, along with Diana, make the world a better place for us all. Love to both of you. Best to Andrew and all the family and friends gathered today in this triple festive celebration. So keep, keep on, on keeping, keeping on. on. My name is Yongsan Kim. I'm a missionary uh, working in Tanzania with the next generation. It is a great honor and it's a great joy to be part of Reverend Cole's 50th anniversary in his music ministry. Whenever I think of him, uh, the one word, divine connection, comes to my mind. Uh, God brought us together in his time to serve the Saturday service at United Methodist Church in Cherry Valley. His contribution, undeniable. It was a great success. His music, his excellence, his personality brought us together in love and even blessed us to get closer to God. And I am very, always thankful uh, for him. He's my friend. He's my inspirations. He always goes extra miles for me. And when I was doing uh, the fundraising event uh, to raise money for the secondary school project, he came from Rockford all the way to Willie to make a contribution with his music with, uh, with a beautiful, his wife, Diana. Uh, his song, and it was uh, like a holy touch, and many people told me that through that event, they experienced a healing, and that was very unexpected. <laughs> Everyone call it thank you again. Um, you are a true, true servant of God, and you have great talent, you have a great achievement. I couldn't make you think Yourself is a higher than other people, but you're always humble to choose the, the Jesus way. I believe that that's why your music, your life, and uh, your ministry was so powerful 
to encourage many, many people and to empower them to go to pursue their dream and their journey and their mission. Thank you so much for all the things you have done and thank you so much uh, what you are going to do in days to come. There are songs that I wanted to share with you as a gift as you celebrate your 50th anniversary in your music ministry as well as your 60th birthday. Are you ready to listen? Lord God will never leave you. He will never let you down. God will never leave you. Lord God will never leave you. He will never let you down. God will never leave you. I love you. God bless you. And stay healthy and stay blessed. Hey you, you and you. Hey, this is Dr. Latoya Thurman. I am checking in all the way from Racine, Wisconsin. And guess what? I heard that there are some celebrations. Not just a celebration, but celebrations. Um, I heard that there is 40 years of matrimony. Woo! I hear that there is 50 years of music ministry. Um, and I heard that there is 60 years of life. How about that? 60 years of life. That is truly a blessing. 60 years of life. Um, and absolutely, we know that that could not have happened without the hand of God, without the favor of God, and through the strength of God on the great, the extraordinary, the wonderful, the magnificent Professor Dr. Carl Cole, who I affectionately call Uncle Cousin Carl Cole. Now, let me get this straight because we like to be very extra. Um, It's not Uncle U-N-C-L-E, but we say Uncle U-N-K-A. Uncle, cousin, Carl Cole. And I must tell you this one thing, is that I consider Professor Carl Cole to be the eagles of all eagles. Um, throughout um, time, as, as far as I can go back in time of, of in, in age as a young girl, I've watched him pour into communities and into the lives of individuals, whether it be young and old. And I tell you one thing about Professor Carl Cole is that he can spot an ego from afar. And one of the things that I also say is that he knows how to push an ego out of the nest and he knows how to nurture and to support um, an ego who is preparing for flight. And one of the things that I admire so much about him is I truly believe that throughout his time of serving the community and impacting the lives that he serves, guess what? I believe that he's simply not afraid either to fly all alone. And so I admire that in him. I admire his tenacity. I admire his uh, his courage. Um, and I admire his drive. He is a trendsetter, a game changer, creative, innovative. And we definitely, definitely, definitely need um, Professor Cole in our community. I'm even saying nationally, there's national greetings, there's local greetings, there's state greetings. And we certainly need him to continue to do the programs that um, he does in changing lives, even throughout the world. And so I want to say on today to Professor Cole, to Dr. Cole, the uncle cousin Carl Cole and someone that I truly, truly, truly consider not to just be a cousin, not to just be family, but I also consider him to be a special, special friend of mine. Cousin Carl, I want to say to you, happy anniversary to you and the lovely and my special friend, Diana Cole. Happy anniversary. I want to say to you, you are truly a blessing to the body of Christ. 
50 years in music ministry. And I also want to say to you, happy, happy birthday. I believe if I can hear you right now, you probably are saying, I'm just getting started. I'm just now getting started. I know my cousin Carl, he's saying that. I'm just now getting started. And he's probably leaning back saying, "Woo, they ain't seen nothing yet. And so I'm believing with you and I'm standing in agreement that you are just getting started, sir. And that you, that we ain't seen nothing yet. So I want to say to you, congratulations on all of your many accomplishments. And I thank God for your life. And most importantly, I love you, I love you, and I love you. Signing off, Cousin Toya. God bless you, Cousin Carl. I love you. Hello, I'm Pastor Brian LeBaron of Faith United Methodist Church of Polo and also a licensed clinical professional counselor with LeBaron Counseling. And I've had the good pleasure to know uh, Brother Carl Cole uh, since we graduated from high school at Freeport High School as pretzels a number of years ago. And over the years, we've been involved together in some mutual efforts of community benevolence with a particular emphasis on youth outreach. And so uh, Professor Carl Cole has been instrumental in reaching hundreds and hundreds of kids uh, to give them uh, the good news of how God can turn their lives around. And so uh, the ministry of the Sounds of Good News has been a great blessing uh, to the northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin area for over 40 years. I had the great opportunity to be engaged in ministry on a number of occasions with Brother C as he's ministered uh, in some teen outreach programs at the Boys and Girls Club uh, in Freeport, as he's been involved in a after-school program both in Lena and in Polo, reaching kids with uh, his unique style and gift of gab as he shares in both music and exhortation uh, to bring encouragement uh, to youth, uh, to help them see their best potential that God intends for them uh, to live uh, honorable, respectful lives in society, in brotherhood with one another, as he has conducted a variety of character excellence workshops with the Young Eagles Success Choir and program uh, that has blessed oh so many over the years. And I've also had the great opportunity to not only share in ministry and outreach with him, I've had the opportunity for him to share uh, his gifts, talents, and abilities uh, with a variety of people uh, in a church setting bringing great encouraging and rousing gospel music that brings people to their feet and brings joy to their hearts as we hear uh, Carl tickle the ivories and uh, sing his melodious music uh, to bring us closer not only to God but to one another and so uh, he has a great gift of bringing uh, encouragement, uh, motivation, and uh, bringing uh, people together into unity in a beloved community. And so uh, we've enjoyed the great peace and goodwill that Brother C brings uh, wherever he goes across the cultural spectrum, uh, whether in an urban setting, a rural setting, a church setting, a recreational center setting, uh, even a restaurant setting, all kinds of places and stations and peoples. Uh, Brother C has have manifested the, the talent, the passion, the experience to impact the outcomes of youth, children, adults, and all of those in community. Red and yellow, black and white. They're all precious in his sight. Uh, so may God continue to use and bless uh, Brother C in his work 
of sharing the good word and a good song that lifts your heart. God bless you and keep you. Brother C. Hello, my friend, Brother Carl. Um, God bless you. What a joy to uh, be able to uh, share in your celebration of so many years of service that you have provided to the community and our youth have been inspired by you and uh, certainly our relationship goes back many years when I was a young musician and um, by your own testimony that we had something to do with you being inspired to the achievements that you have uh, been able to uh, to bring forth in our community. And uh, I certainly wish God speed, uh, that God will continue to uh, take you to higher heights and, and, and broaden your uh, influence uh, among many of those that love music and those that are inspired. And certainly we appreciate what you're doing for the, the youth and uh, not to even mention your ministry uh, in the church world. And so uh, I just wanted just to, uh, to respond uh, to this uh, wonderful celebration, well-deserved, and God, again, God continue to anoint you for the extraordinary gifting uh, that God has blessed you with. And certainly you have not wasted your gift but uh, you have given it and given it freely in so many circumstances and opportunities. God bless you um, with uh, uh, all that you need to maximize uh, the gifting and the ministry that God put in you. God bless you. Hello, I'm Dan Shogren, and I certainly want to take advantage of this opportunity to remark about how much Carl Cole has helped the Salvation Army in uh, while I was the pastor at the Rockford Temple Corps. Uh, we were able to get together and uh, it was decided that Carl would teach and lead our youth choir and uh, it really worked out well. We had a good diversity of Kids, and it also gave some diversity of music to our congregation. Carl was very enthusiastic, and uh, I had him come more than just for the youth meetings, but also for uh, special occasions when he and his wife would special at the church. It has been a great pr privilege to know Carl and to be able to work with him, and I wish him well in his future endeavors. God bless. So, Carl, let's say I understand there's something like 40 and then 50, that makes 90, and 60, that's 100, 150. Carl, you look great for 150. <laughs> hey, listen, my dear friend, what a privilege it is to be asked to say congratulations to you on multiple ministries. Never forget the fact how passionate you've been and still are for the spoken word, for the music, for leading Christians, uh, kids to Christ, and for character development. Thank you, my dear friend, and God bless you for many, many more years to come. There's only one Carl Cole, and I'm grateful that our family had a chance to be a part of your life. Love you, brother. Have a great day. Thank you, Carl, for including my children, my Chelsea and my Chloe, into your um, music, into the choirs. Thank you for encouraging Chelsea to lead your choir when she was just eight, nine, ten years old. Uh, the passion that you have spills right over onto those kids and um, you are still helping them with your Yes Club. The kids that I have taught at West Middle School, you've touched their lives as well and we couldn't be more grateful for you, Carl. And Carl, it's always a delight to make music with you, to sing with you and Diana and happy anniversary to both of you and happy birthday, Carl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carl. 
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. We love you guys. Love you, Carl. Hi, Mr. C. Congratulations today. You really have reasons for a triple celebration. I understand that you've been married to your beautiful queen, Diana, for 40 years. I know you have been in the ministry, the music ministry, for over 50 years. And today, you're celebrating a birthday. This is reason to celebrate. You are such a wonderful person, and you have been a great friend to me. So I wish you all the love, all the blessings that God has for you. Enjoy the day. Goodbye. Grupo Folklorico Radford, good like to thank Mr. Cole for allowing us to celebrate him, his life and legacy. We hope to continue being a small part of his outreach and wish him all the best. Thanks for letting us be a part of the Martin Luther King celebration and we wish you a happy 60th birthday. At first I want to say happy birthday to Mr. Cole. He is a wonderful man. I have known him for over 30 years. He has a heart that is so big and cares about the community so much that he has gone time after time trying to get our children involved in something besides gang activity, bullying, not going to school. He's just wonderful and how people cannot support that I don't understand. I just want you to know that he is one of the nicest, truest people I've ever met. Please support him and wish him a very happy birthday as well. I have been cutting Mr. Carl Cole's hair for 20 some years. I can tell you that he is a loyal customer, but loyal not only to me, but to everyone he meets. So I'm very fortunate to have him. And again, happy birthday. Hello everyone, everyone. My name is Jesus. And I, I met uh, Mr. Paul almost, what, probably six years ago in my old location. I remember I fixed his uh, band back then. Um, and uh, how everything starts, I remember I, it was Saturday in the afternoon when I met him. This beautiful and really, really kind guy. Uh, the, I didn't know he's going to turn out a really good friend to me. Back then, I was just a regular customer. After so many years, every time that I have a problem or I feel like sad, I talk to Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul always makes me feel special and happy. And that's one of the reasons I want to keep him up as a friend. And I want to say happy birthday, Mr. Paul. Thank you. Hello there, Mr. C, Professor, Maestro, Carl Cole, affectionately known as my little brother. We have such a strong legacy of friendship and love. Our grandparents were friends and neighbors. Our mothers graduated from high school together and were friends. You were one of my mother's first Head Start students. And then you and I. Congratulations, Carl, on 40 years of being married 
to Diana Cole and 50 years in music ministry and 60 years of life. Carl, continue to love your wife and make sure that you and Diana continue to make a difference in this world together as you celebrate 40 years. 50 years of music ministry. And I thank you for including me as part of your music ministry. West Middle School Inspirational Choir performing at Kennedy Middle School, performing for Martin Luther King program and other community events on the waterfront and city, city center celebration. Carl, we have worked with hundreds of students throughout your career here in Rockford, as well as your own group. But together, Carl, you have worked with students who I have seen you not only give them confidence about their musical talents, but some you have helped to propel them into great performers in their own careers. Thank you, Carl, for always knowing how important it is to make a difference in the lives of young people. And of course, happy birthday to you, Mr. C. 60 years of life. Thank God that he has blessed you to be here on this earth, working on his assignment through you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday as you celebrate your 60th year. Continue to let God richly bless your life. And don't forget that African proverb that says, no matter how full the river, it still wants to grow. Continue to help our community grow, Carl, through your many endeavors. Again, Congratulations, happy birthday, and I love you. Congratulations, Mr. C. It's so good to connect with you again. I really missed our time together in Rockford, getting a chance to come out together with you and do those Church for You events at St. Paul Rockford, watching you do amazing things with the kids with the Yes Club. You have been a tremendous blessing to so many in Rockford. It's great to be able to celebrate with you and see how God is still using you in some powerful ways to connect with the community. You were a blessing to work with, your lovely wife, and the energy that you bring to ministry. May you continue to bless those around you as you move forward for the next phase of your life. Um, I wish I could be there with you to celebrate, to just pat you on the back again and just kind of hear once again, you bring Christ to the keyboard and all that you do. Congratulations, my friend. And may God continue to richly bless you in all that you do moving forward. Hello, friends. I am Hank Fairman, Senior Pastor at St. John United Church of Christ in Freeport, Illinois, where we have the joyful pleasure of Carl and Diana Coles sharing their music ministry with us every month. We also hear about the impact of the Sounds of Good News and the Young Eagle Success Club. Every Sunday we're together, the Coles bring their spirit, energy, and thanks and praise to God. And it is such a sacred moment to join together with them 
to be a congregation in song and praise. Every month we also see the posts and updates about the Sounds of Good News and the Yes Club, Carl and Diana's commitment to our youth, their understanding their emotions, helping them learn how to communicate their needs, and how much their character counts in our world has changed generations of youth. Now those youth are adults, and their experiences in the Yes Club have made our community in Freeport and beyond a safer place, a more caring place, a more accepting and uniting society. Now every year at this time we remember the Yes Club and its founders. This year's Webathon is a first, making our commitment to their impact across the safer practices of YouTube and Facebook Live. I hope that you've had the time to check out their website or to attend one of their, their performances and learn about the impact of SOGN and the Yes Club. I also hope that you feel moved to offer a thankful gift in support of their ministry. In this COVID recovery time, our caring for our youth needs every method that we can empower. And the Yes Club is one powerful tool in our community's toolbox. Carl and Diana, I thank you for all that you do, all that you are, all that God has called you to do and to be. Blessings on your ministry, blessings on your love for youth, blessings to you both as you continue to be the change that our world needs you to be. Friends, until we meet again, may God bless you. We'll see you in church.